Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this custom Rex. So, if you guys are not aware, which I'm sure you are, Captain Rex is an extremely hard figure to come by, extremely uh, expensive too. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can pay upwards of 120 bucks to try to get phase 2 on Bricklink. It's just, it's very expensive and it's honestly not worth it because you know, he, he's a figure that you could very easily make on your own, and I'm going to show you guys how I made mine. So, let's get right into the video. So, first things first, this is definitely not going to be 100% free to make. Obviously, you're going to have to get the figure to be able to make the Captain Rex, so you are going to have to spend a little bit of money. And that's where this set comes into play. Uh, the Five Force Battle Pack, it's... You can find it pretty much at uh, any t Walmart Target you go to. They will more than likely have it. Although my Walmart was out of stock, so I had to order this. But either way, there you can usually find them on a rollback for 24 bucks. So you're gonna need one of these, and you can use either a Jet Trooper or a normal 501st. Um, I recommend using a normal 501st just because the Jet Troopers are a bit more rare, and obviously you don't want to be using up your Jet Troopers. So, yeah, let's open up this. So, for now, I'm just not going to mess with bag number two because bag number one has what we need, which is the uh, normal Power oh, First Troopers. So, let, let me get these built up real quick. And there we go, we have the two Power First Troopers. Now, you, you don't need two of these, you technically only need one. So we will put one of these aside, and here's what you need. So we're gonna be able, we're gonna be taking this Power First Trooper and basically turning it into a regular first. Because yes, you can paint over the, the decals that this already has, but depending on what shade of blue paint you use, it might get a bit messy and it might not look as accurate as it could. So for that reason, you're gonna be needing an X-Acto knife. Sorry for the fans, um, my basement kind of flooded last night, but we are going to be needing some X-Acto knives. So, little disclaimer, X-Acto knives are incredibly sharp, so only use them if you are able to. Uh, if you don't have a soda hand, I definitely do not recommend using them, but as you can see, very, very sharp blades, so do not use them if you are not able to. So I'm also going to be using light, which will help me uh, concentrate a little bit better and be able to see things. So I had I've already kind of um, made this one's body because I had made I've already made one of these previously, but I have to do the helmet and this one I'm gonna have to do the entire body. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So you're gonna to want to take your 501st helmet and you're gonna take the Exacto knife and you are basically going to very lightly scrape at the top of the helmet. So as you're doing that, as you can see, it will slowly um, kind of just like nick at the the blue paint. So this is this is definitely something that you're gonna wanna you take your time with. Uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race. If you try to rush into this, you, you're gonna mess it up and it's not gonna look very good. So just take your time. If you mess up, you can always get paint. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, I was able to get about that much done. So I'm going to finish this helmet and I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. All right, and after about an hour, this is what I have came with. A, I have ended up with a pretty nicely um, shaven, or uh, I, don't, I don't know what we would call it, but it, it is a phase two helmet. So very nice. Um, this one definitely uh, ended up better than the first one I did. The first one wasn't bad. It's just this one. I I had a sharper blade. By the way. Um, 
definitely recommend to get a new one. Old ones will work, but you're, you're just getting a bit of a more precise um, cut whenever you use a new one. So yeah, I have shaved it down, it looks pretty good. So what I'm then gonna do is put it on, oh my gosh, you will not stand. You're gonna wanna put it on the body, um, which if you want to, you can um, do it or uh, make the body face uh, or regular. You don't have to, and don't do it to the legs because the legs um, you're gonna end up using for Captain Rex. So yeah, here's a little comparison side by side. Uh, let me stand them up actually. To yeah, so here's that side by side comparison. Pretty good. Um, so yeah. So now that we have a base set to work with, we are gonna need paints. Now, the paints I use um, are, I'm not even sure what the brand is, it's uh, whatever this word is, it's just acrylic paint. You can really use anything. I know a lot of people use um, apple wood or um, I believe that's what it's called, apple wood. But the main colors you're gonna need are blue, uh, this goldish brown, and then black. So those are the colors for Rex. Obviously, if you're making a different clone, the colors are gonna be varied, but for Rex, you're gonna need these colors. And the reason why I picked up this um, base or paint set is because it does come with this color, which is a little bit harder to come by, but it is for those lines that he does have on top of his helmet. Now, if you do not have a brush, you are in luck because this does not actually re require a brush. Um, if you are going to use a brush, I would recommend using the smallest one you have. So here's a pretty small one you, that we have, but even then, that is a bit too big for the surface we're going to be working on. Because, I mean, if you think about it, trying to get those little details with this brush, I mean, it's very, it's very easy to accidentally uh, stroke too high or too low and uh, mess it up. So what we're actually going to be using is this little uh, pin needle. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take it, dab it in some blue paint, and then uh, just lightly kind of, you know, go around and put the decals of Rex's helmet onto the figure. Um, take your time with this, and you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna mess up, but um, say, like, um, say you're working on, his, on, on the top here and you mess up one of the decals, j just take a paper towel, wipe it off a little bit, you can even, take your exacto knife and kind of scrape it off and then just redo it it's going to take some trial and error and it definitely did with mine but w once you get to a place where you're happy with with your work that's whenever you can move on to the next step all right so now that you are done painting it is time for the next step which is his range finder now obviously rex is oh focus please thank bro uh, Rex is notorious for having his rangefinder, uh, and a downside to that is if you look on the new Phase 2 helmets, they don't have a hole for rangefinders. Um, it was something that LEGO only did for Phase 1 clones. So, a fix for that is what you're going to have to do is take your rangefinder and uh, the little nub that you would stick into the side of the holes, you're gonna wanna shave that off. And honestly, you could just use an X-Acto knife for that, that's what I did. Works fine, it actually works really good, actually. So you shave that little bit off, and then you could either use hot glue, you could use putty, you could use Gorilla Glue, really anything that would make it stick to the side of, of the helmet will work. So in my case, I just used hot glue, and it stuck instantly, and so yeah. So that is the helmet completely finished. On to his pauldron. So here is my pauldron that I made for uh, uh, Captain Rex. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, so this is made out of paper. And what I did was I used tape. Uh, I put tape over it to give it a, um, to make it hard so it's not like rippable or anything. So um you can always use an official lego pauldron but in this case you know i wanted to make it look even more accurate to uh how rex looks so i'm going to show you guys how you can make one of these so you're going to want a piece of hard um paper 
it could be any kind of paper really. Um, I would start with a white piece of paper and basically I've already done it here but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a uh, torso, it could be any torso really, and you're going to want to place it down, kind of get a, a pretty accurate decent square around it and then put a circle where the head would be. So this is what you're going to work off of to um, the design you're going to be making. Now, th this could be for any design really because it just have to be for Rex's but so after yeah ba basically what, what you're you're gonna want to do is just off of this just kind of you know make here, here here's this pauldron right there and maybe maybe you're gonna want to put a little bag right there so that's basically the layout and then you can just kind of like erase this stuff that's right here um when, like whenever you're cutting it out just don't put that stuff in and we and then you can completely color it in and once it's colored you cut it out place two pieces of tape over it to make it hard and then with an exacto knife cut out the circle and then that's how you make your pauldron for his body i just went for a normal phase one clone trooper body um you could use a um pile first body and uh you know shave off the blue parts um, because he actually does not have any blue on his body so that's why this works a little bit better. I give him blue arms even though he has stripes. I did not want to paint arms because I just don't like doing that. Um, for his pants, this is actually an official Lego piece. It's just a little skirt made out of fabric. Uh, if you don't have that piece, you can always do the same thing that you did with the pauldron but just for the skirt. And then for the feet, I just use a 501st legs trooper or the legs of a 501st trooper. So yeah. So here are kind of the phases that you will need to go through in order to create this phase two Captain Rex. So we start off obviously with a normal 501st Trooper. And as you know, we had to shave off all the decals using an exacto knife. And then we add the finishing touches that make him Captain Rex. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below any other customs you might want to see in the future. And subscribe for more content. Peace.